Underlying all of it, though, is the spiritual side, that there's a lack of meaning. Do you, it leaves you with the question of, do you even matter? I can't contribute. What, what do I have? Laura Hillenbrand, in the book Unbroken, uh, about Louis Zamperini, who was imprisoned and beaten in Japanese prisoner of war camps, uh, talked about how he survived that, and it was by finding within himself that dignity that we each, that all of us have, but that sometimes we lose the sense of. And she said, without dignity, identity is erased. That's the spiritual core of poverty. And the Better Yes members, those organizations that we work with and are looking to work with, they get this. And because they get this, they start with relationship. They don't start with what can we give you, they start with who are you? Why are you here? How did you get in this position? What can you do is oftentimes one of the first questions that gets asked. What can you do to contribute? What, what are the things that you have that are of value? And sometimes it's not the person that you're talking with who has to provide that answer. It's the person who's also, who is also in the room and says, she is great at cooking. He can fix a bike like nobody. Right? They tell you what the person is good at because they've forgotten. The person that you're talking to may have forgotten. And you need to provide them with some responsibility. And again, that's about providing something that's valuable to the person that you're, that you're talking with. Um, if you go into a place and you say, I'm looking for a bed, and they give you a bed, I, I always think of Uncle Ben talking to Peter Parker. Right? With, great with great power comes great responsibility. Well, now you've come in, and I've given you something, and I haven't asked you to take responsibility for it. What have I told you about what kind of power you have? You have no power in this relationship. So the first step is to, after establishing the relationship, is to provide you with the responsibility for the good of the community. So soup kitchens do that with having people work uh, in the kitchen. Food pantries do that as they allow people to go through and make choices about the food that they want instead of just getting a box. And when you provide that responsibility and you develop that relationship, it reduces the resentment on both sides. And it increases the ability to have restoration, to be restored to that sense of dignity, to that sense of self, to that place in the community.